Hello Ryzen users, today I am going to show you guys that how you can enable virtualization in any MSI motherboard. But before enabling virtualization, let's see if virtualization have any side effect on our PC. So here you can see that enabling virtualization will not have any bad effect on our PC but it will increase the speed of virtualization software like VMware or VirtualBox. And if you want to get better performance in emulator, you must need to enable virtualization. Let me show it uh, practically. If I open LD player emulator here, here you can see that it is asking me to enable virtualization. If I click here, uh, here you can see that disabled virtualization detected low performance. That means if I enable virtualization, I will get better performance, better speed in LD player emulator or any kind of emulator. I hope that you got it. So there is uh, many benefits for enabling virtualization but there is no side effect for enabling it. Now I am going to show you guys that how you can enable virtualization in any MSI motherboard. So without any further ado let's get started. First things first you will need to restart your PC. Ok so now I am going to show you my PC screen from my mobile because when I will visit BIOS then I can't do a screen record. So first of all you'll need to restart your PC from here. So I'm going to restart my PC. So while your PC is restarting you'll need to press Dell button. Okay. So we are just waiting to shut down and then now my PC is restarting here and while my PC is restarting I will need to press Dell button. So now I need to press Dell button. I am pressing Dell button here. So now you can see that I am in my BIOS. And from my BIOS, I will need to just okay, press on the advanced option. Okay, I will need to press on advanced option. Then here you can see the OC. OC option. You will need to click on OC option. And then you will need to scroll down, scroll down a little bit. And here you will find the CPU features. And here you can uh, see it CPU features. And from here you will need to select SVM mode. Okay, so SVM uh, mode enables your virtualization. If you enable it, it will enable your virtualization on CPU. So I am going to enable it. Uh, here you can see that it is disabled. I am going to enable it. I am going to click on enable so my virtualization is successfully enabled okay so now I, I will exit and save my setting i have clicked on the cross icon and now i am going to save my configuration and i'll exit here you can see that i have uh, enabled svm mode which will enable virtualization on my pc so i'm going to save the configuration and exit i hope that you got it So now if I uh, open LD player from here, okay, I'm going to open, you can see that it will not ask for enabling virtualization because my virtualization is already enabled. So here you can see that it is not asking for enabling virtualization because my virtualization is successfully enabled. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and you can support me by subscribing my YouTube channel.